everything you need to know before you go to Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Hi, I'm Edu Martins and in today's video I'm gonna give you some tips, things we shouldn't do in Rio de Janeiro and also things you should do in Rio de Janeiro. I've been there on February 2022. It was high season that time, but it was coronavirus and stuff. The city was not very full as it used to be in February because I believe February is like many people going there as carnival and one of the biggest events in the country the first thing i want to tell you guys don't take taxi in rio take uber and you must have the app on your phone before you go to brazil if you arrive in the galeon airport it's the international airport so if you're coming from abroad there we're gonna land in this airport so don't take taxi never take taxi take uber once you are you leave the airport you're gonna see many people coming to you asking you to take taxi where are you going which hotel just don't do it and there's a right way to take Uber. When we went there, people start saying it was a mistake because the app is lying. The Uber doesn't go to this airport, but actually the Uber goes to the airport and you just be careful, make sure you are going to take Uber in the right area. If you don't find a way, ask someone uh, try to find yourself, but don't take taxi, never. First, because taxi, they're gonna, you're gonna pay more, obviously. And the, dry, the taxi drivers, they're gonna say to you, don't take Uber because you can't take Uber here in this area. They're gonna do it because they want you to pay taxi, obviously don't do it take uber it's much cheaper i did and it was very good i paid very less money to go to the hotel so you must take uber instead of taxi always number two buy a sim card for your phone it's quite cheap so you just check on Google where is the nearest store to buy a SIM card. It's not very complicated. Number three, don't buy or try drinks on the beach. Um, when we went there, a guy just said to try the caipirinha. Caipirinha is one of the most popular drinks in the country. And this guy said, try, the quality is very good. And we tried, you know, like, he was making people trying the drinks just to try. But actually, he said, now you have to pay because you tried. And the price was crazy. <laughs> Basically, this guy, he was charging people a lot. And it doesn't cost that much. So at the end, we had to pay... 50 reais the Brazilian currency and basically a glass of caipirinha in Lapa another place we paid only 5 reais <laughs> we got a bit scared of this guy he was you know we don't know people so we had to pay 50 reais number 4 don't go to favelas Sometimes people used to go as tourists to favelas, making pictures, making videos. And we have to remember there are people living there. So it's not nice and it's also dangerous. Number five, 
by Havaianas. You're gonna find a lot of them and very cheap, very nice price and very nice styles of Havaianas. Number six, go to Arayal do Cabo. It's very nice place. It's kind of paradise. It's gonna take you an hour. It's one hour away from Rio. You can go, you can rent a car or you can go by agency. It's a very nice place. You take a boat and you spend the whole day visiting all the beaches around and it's very nice. There are people gonna be partying, drinking, having food. Make sure you have cash. By this beach far away, there is no connection, so you must have cash to buy food and drinks if you are outside of the boat, obviously. Visit Lapa. In my opinion is the best place in Rio, one of the nicest place in Rio. You're gonna find a lot of bars, pubs, with samba, live music, people dancing, very nice energy, very nice atmosphere. So don't miss Lapa if you go to Rio. Don't visit Maracanã in the evening unless there is a match we went there in the evening just to see outside the stadium and it was no lights was nothing was like very dark was basically literally nothing to see <laughs> so if you want to see outside the maracana if you are not going in don't don't do it in the evening visit the Portuguese Royal Library is the largest collection of Portuguese literature outside of Portugal and one of the most beautiful libraries in the world. But don't do it on weekends because it's closed. It's open Monday to Friday, so if you have opportunity to go do it is very nice place to visit in Rio. These are my tips to give you before you go to Rio after my experience. I hope you like my video. Please subscribe to my channel and see you the next. Thank you so much for watching.